Hey YouTubers, it's Mr. Tech Twenty Nine here with an actual tech video. Um, so right here, I have on the right. This is a Pentium Four, three gigahertz, one megabyte L2 cache, eight hundred megahertz front side bus. It's an SL7PU. Intel, oops, sorry, Intel copyright two thousand four. Can't really see that very well. Then on the left here I have a Intel Pentium D, Pentium Dual Core, 925 SL9KA from 2006. Yeah, you can't really see that. Originally, this is Dale Dimension E510, had the uh, Pentium 4 in it, which is only single core hyper threading. And I was able to find my dual core Pentium that I had laying around that I got from a friend for free. And, um, throw that in here. Well, I found out, well, you know what, let me just show you what happened. Let me throw it back in here and boot it up and show you. Alright guys, I'm now going to show you what happened when I turn on with the Pentium D. System halted, alert, incompatible processor. My, my keyboard's not plugged in, but I can do a reboot and show you. My keyboard does not even work. So, yes, it's not good. Um, let's do a quick reboot and show you. I also heard that if you pressed F1 or F2 while this was up, it would boot or enter setup. Right, as you can see here is my Apple keyboard. No caps lock light or, uh, oops, no lock light coming on. And if I press F1 or F2, nothing. <coughs> so what I gotta do is update the BIOS, and I was looking on the revisions, and uh, couldn't actually find them on Dell's website, which is weird, but uh, I was able to find them um, doing a quick Google search on a Yahoo Answers page. And I looked and made sure it was the right one, it is, and uh, I downloaded the newest revision, A07, but revision A05 added support for incompatible pro um, processors, apparently. The newer ones, I think it goes from a 2004 processor to 2006. I believe it's a 925 Pentium D? I don't know. I said it earlier. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to switch back to the Pentium 4 HT. Boot Windows Vista off of a laptop hard drive. Run the EXE, since I don't have DOS on this computer. And then we will be back up and running. And this computer will either be a Hackintosh or just a Windows 7 or Windows 8 machine soon. And possibly with dual monitors. Um, we'll get into that later along with a video card that's not in it now, but will be. But yeah, this will be my main machine. <clears throat> Granted, it is a little bit out of date, but it's the newest thing that I have personally, and it'll be good for me. So yeah, I'll be back in a few. Here are the Pentium 4's processor specs. Hey guys, I downloaded the BIOS update on the flash drive. And, uh, I'm going to install it. Yes, I know, it says Windows is not genuine, I don't know why. But, yeah, I really don't care. This is just a hard drive I got of an old laptop. Well, not really old, but one that's messed up. That I still have, but, yeah. I'm just going to plug in my flash drive. Wait for it to get recognized. Installing device driver for a flash drive. There we go. Now we can open this, and here's the BIOS update. Flash access denied. Have to be logged in as administrator? What the hell? Run as administrator. Let's try that. There we go. Dell Incorporated Flash BIOS upgrade. Dell system DM051 which is what it shows in the BIOS revision A07 vendor Dell Incorporated system Cur oh that's current is your AO2 replace AO2 with AO7 yes confirm replace AO2 BIOS with AO7 BIOS pressing OK will close all program shutdown windows and then flash the BIOS and then reboot alright guys
Hope it doesn't break this computer. Tempting BIOS update, please wait. Hopefully it doesn't just attempt, hopefully it works. Knock on wood. Update successful. There we go. So then I should, there we go, A07. Let's enter setup real fast. Uh, 1807, that looks about right. Alright. Looks about right. So, let's just get another shot. Actually, you know what? No, let's see if, make sure Windows Vista will load. Yep, it's loading. Alright, so basically I'm just gonna it, flip it off with the power supply. I'm going to sit down on my iPod and put in the new processor and come back. Alright guys, moment of truth. After the BIOS update, I just installed the new processor, the Penny ND. Let's find out what happens. Oh, yup. There's something stuck in the pen. That's alright. You can wear that. Pen GMD. Nice. Incompatible processor detected, but it'll let me continue. And boot manager is missing. That's all right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna shut this back down. I'm gonna get that out of the fan. And I'm gonna boot it back up in Windows Vista again. All right, guys. We're now booting up again, and we're going to boot into Vista. Yep. I'm just gonna have to press that every time. It's gonna say that there's something wrong with the pro. Oh, it's gonna say that uh, it's gonna be a processor error every time. But I don't care because. It's such a performance boost, I'm guessing, because it's a dual core now, and there's two megabytes per um, two megabytes of cache per core. Oh wow, that's a big improvement. Wow. Um. Wow. I think I'm actually going to do another boot in a minute, and just for like a boot race between the old time and the new time. I might just kind of cut the old one out and uh, of the video and put this one in. I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know why it thinks it's not genuine. It obviously is. But that's okay. So, let's see... Yeah, it worked. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to see if I can get this to do a rating, and then I'll be back. Since Windows is supposedly not genuine, it won't let me do, it won't let me, uh, assess it, so. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. I also don't know why it thinks it's 1.31 a.m. Oh, I took the BIOS battery out, that's why. Yeah, so I don't know why my iPod isn't filming regular HD. I guess it's something to do with my lighting up there. Ugh, but that's alright. So, yeah, I guess for now, this has been Mr. Tucker 29, signing off.